The weather's beginning to warm up. Summer is coming. The weather is still nice. It can get a lot hotter than this. But it's always important to keep in mind that in the Buddha's list of attitudes that lead you down is the attitude, well, it's too hot to meditate, it's too cold to meditate, it's too early, it's too late. In other words, you keep finding excuses for not doing it. The problem is the defilements don't find those excuses. It's never too hot to have lust or anger or fear or whatever. Never too cold, never too late, never too early. They can move in at any time, so why can't the meditation move in at any time? When it's hot, you find a place that's relatively cool. Focus inside and find which part of the body is cooler than the rest and focus your attention there. As for the hot parts of the body, remind yourself, they, they can do their thing. You don't have to get involved. You don't have to comment on them. You don't have to fight against them. Think of that time when a John Fung was suddenly caught in a rainstorm. There was no way he could move, so he just put almost all of his robes, except for one, in his bowl to keep them dry, and then meditated on the theme the body may be wet, but the mind isn't wet. It's the same with the body and heat. It can be cold, but the mind doesn't have to be cold. The body can be suffering from the heat. or in feeling the heat, but the mind doesn't have to feel that it's hot. In other words, learn how to separate yourself from the environment around you, and don't let it become an excuse that you, for not meditating. Because if we don't meditate, things are going to get a lot hotter and a lot colder than this. What are we going to do then? We have to find this ability to separate the mind out from conditions so it's not overcome by them. And the way, only way we can do that is just to keep on meditating regardless, whether it's early or late, hot, cold, whatever. As long as you're able to breathe, you're able to meditate. Remind yourself of that and just keep on going. 